And then if you talk to this guy, off to the Pokemon League, are you? The Elite Four are strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. I don't know even know what the fuck he's blocking, if you want me to be honest, but this guy says that Mount Silver is to, uh, the behind him, to the left. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. That's basically, like, the last des- excuse me, the last destination of the game. I've never done that before, so, uh, good luck to- to me, at the very least. But, um, yeah, you'll see that this is the Victory Road from, um, Red, Blue, Yellow. Fuck you. Alright, now that was a fluke in a 36. Most of them usually are less than 35. So let's go put Hot Shot back up front just for this moment. That's it. Oh, I kind of want Gigas on me, but I think it's better to have the higher level ones, personally. Alright, so yeah, you'll notice that it's missing something kind of important, and that's all the trainers. Fucking Christ. That asshole decided to be a 36 too. But yes, this area is completely empty, no one's here. It's just items and let really high level Pokemon. Mostly 36 for the fucking moment. So basically from here it's straight shot into the Elite Four. But it's kind of cool, I guess, that they almost mimicked perfectly the Victory Road from Red Blue. Uh, very clearly not all the way, but enough to be recognizable and be like, oh yeah. But at the same time, it's been a while since I've played an original Red and gone through it, so... Wanna say it's not... I don't remember. So remember that time I was stalked in uh, Fire Red by that same fucking Geodude? It's kind of feeling like that, except with an Onyx this time. I had no hacks are on. It's not a ROM. That was a male Onyx this time, but the idea is it's only a level 36 Onyx, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying at all that anyone's showing up when I bothered putting up a fucking repel, but yeah. TM36. Now, is that what I think it is? I never actually bothered checking this. That's the wrong direction, idiot. Earthquake! No, it's not. I thought it was Solar Beam. Well, I don't really have any ground types, and Earthquake's not exactly on my final moveset. Not at all that it's a bad move, I just don't think it's gonna work with what I've got. That's the wrong direction, too. Idiot. And now Repel's effect wore off. Good job saving me from those four onyxes, by the way. Which, that was a thing that kind of threw me off, was I'm probably not going to be able to finish this sentence. But in uh, Sun and Moon, there's a character who does not Pokemon train, so she relies heavily on repels. But that doesn't make sense, considering you need Pokemon to repel them away with. I don't fucking get it. But, whatever. Now, we want to go here, grab this last item, and that's basically it as far as the area. Grab that. Hey, you saw that there's no puzzles in here as well. Which, you know, who's complaining? But, right up here... Fucking Christ. That time it was a Rhyhorn, so it was at least different. But right there is the exit. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch Stone Sour back up here. And let's head on out. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Gold, I challenge you. You know what, this is still okay. Because, uh, two words. Low kick. Go ahead, Fury Cutter, my rock tree, dude. It's not a problem. I was expecting him to start out with Golbat, but Sneasel's just as good. So yeah, he's got the unfair 6 on 5 advantage because they were too fucking retarded to put a PC on the other side of the thing. That's annoying. Also, any other time, Magneton Magnemite seems to frequently be killing Sudowoodoo, but that's usually because I don't get a turn to attack. As to where this time I can at least get that much, and hopefully I can kill it. Because all I need to do is land a low kick, but it won't let me play the fucking game. I'm just gonna go for it anyway. 
See, like, that's it. That does half of our fucking health every goddamn time. That did even less. I don't get it. And, of course, I still can't play the bastard game. God, what the fuck is wrong with Stone Sour and fighting Magnetons that it's so damn hard? He could never land a hit. That's all he needs. Just one kick. Look at that. But I never get the opportunity. He's dead. It's fine. Whatever. He did okay. Wow, he's not dead yet. That's even better, then. That's all I wanted. Why was that so damn difficult? He's even 35. That's even better. He got the level up. And I saw that 100 defense. I was about to use Haunter. I'm gonna go ahead and just let him sit there so he can uh, take the, you know, take the hit. He can die out, go down fighting, let him do his thing. Shadow Ball, level 35 Haunter. We don't have Gygus on us, and I'm not really sure how much better Gygus would be. Um, I'm thinking Hot Shot can take this one. I think a good Fire Punch would probably take him down a notch. Because I was thinking about Pokey Slow and Confusion, but that's kind of a gamble considering he's just going to well, obviously outspeed me. He killed himself, that's even better. I love it when that happens. Yeah, no, so the idea that Hotshot just outsped a fucking Haunter, that's kind of a big deal. We got a really fast Magmar, and I'm pretty sure he's not meant to be this fucking fast. I'm going to switch anyway. We're going to let... Ugh, it's probably a bad idea, but we're going to let Pokey Slow try it because... The only other idea I've got is Hop-Tart, but I'm not exactly sure how good of an idea that is. Because Pokeslow's got the confusion advantage on it. If we can just land our fucking attacks, we should be okay. But that always seems to be the issue we have, is we don't ever really get the chance to actually play the fucking game. Watch us flinch. That did half our damn health. Usually it doesn't do that much. Yeah, that did jack shit. Um, we kind of have to save Pokey Slow now and just switch over because if he dies, we don't exactly have a good way to take out that Quilava. What's my plan B? I hate to say it, but I think plan B is just Hot Shot as at this point. I was thinking on, again, Hop Tart, but with it using. You can see, I knew it was going to use Bite right there. I didn't want that to fuck it up, as to where it's like, well, if Hot, if Hot Shot dies, he dies. It's okay. She dies, apparently. It's a girl. You know, not much to lose in that department. Confuse Ray, only those two moves, that's all. Well, it also has Wing Attack, but it's basically not using it unless Lita's out there. That's key for please do it, but it don't matter, because I already killed you. Which, yeah, his skull bat outsped us. I think it'd be cool to play a game where the opponent has their Pokemon nicknamed. Kadabra. Kadabra, we can go ahead and let... Let's let Hoptart take that one. Which I believe... No. Was it? I don't think it was the first time we've seen it. Also, yeah, I let it learn Future Sight because I was like, well... It's not ideal, but it's better than Leer, so I'm just gonna let it learn it, just so it has something there. And that's pretty much it. Lita also would've been a good choice for this, but considering how the grinding's gonna be, I think I prefer using Hoptart for this. Alright, last one then, Typhlosion. So we're gonna go ahead and let Pokeslow try and do as much as it possibly can, even though it probably is gonna end up dying, especially with that Future Sight coming in in like a turn or two. That's gonna suck. But let him do as much damage as he can, even if he doesn't succeed, it's still better than nothing. Yeah, I pretty, uh, that fucking hurt. But this should take out at least half of its health, which is still good by me. Uh, maybe a little bit less than half. And there goes Future Sight. Future Sight's not exactly what I'm crazy about, but technically it is a strong attack. It's just, there, as of this generation, there's no stab and there's no um, real benefit. I guess I'll lay down a Future Sight, why not? Just in case. I believe it's like 100% accurate. In this generation, it hits Dark Types, but apparently they amended that in the future. Didn't know that, but they did. So, yeah. But it never gets, like, something, like, super effective on it. 
which kind of makes it kind of shitty, but it's still just a strong attack, so I figure we can screw it. It's worth having anyway. Why? Okay, I guess we're a speed tie then, since you're going ahead of me now. Alright, now you should be dead by this, and if not, I'm hoping Future Sight hits this turn. Alright, it's dead. That's all I cared about. That's a good level up. You need it. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I'll challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> you keep at it until then. Yep, that's that. And here we are now at the Pokemon League and finally at the ability to access a fucking PC. God, it's such shitty design. <laughs> but here's the worst part. We're underleveled. And this game has a very, 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 very stupid fucking idea on how to grind. Your only option is just wild Pokemon. Meaning I have to go into Victory Road and just beat them all until everybody is at least, I want to say, bare minimum, level 40. As to where in Fire Red you had things like Versus Seekers, which was a fantastic thing because fighting a trainer gets you more EXP. What a novel fucking concept. I don't understand why they didn't implement that into this game. I mean, I guess because technically Fire Red had the Versus Seeker, as to where this game does not. You know, Red doesn't, but Red was still easy because you could missing no rare candies and level up just fine. It's just an annoyance, and that's kind of what sours the game for me. The only idea on how to you know, refight trainers is the phone number shit, but that's just still a very terrible feature. But, I have an alternative, which is hacking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the po wild Pokemon levels, so this way, once I knock them out, I gain boosted EXP. That should make my life go by a lot faster. So I'm going to meet you when everybody is a level 40, that includes Slowbro is going to be evolving, so I'll show you guys that. We're going to meet you with the final move sets, and then we're going to take on the Elite Four. Until then, for what little bit I have been... Like, I've recorded a lot, and a lot's going to be cut out or fast-forwarded or all that, but it's it's been over two hours. I'm JC4. I'll see you guys later when we take on the Elite Four at level 40. Bye. Please. God, recording save.